GarageBand for iOS gives you all manner of touch instruments to play, record and add to your projects. Drums, guitars, bass, good sing, cowbell, it's all here. Actually recording these touch instruments perfectly in time every time can sometimes be a challenge though. GarageBand for iOS has a brilliant built-in feature that will help you deal with any slip-ups and tighten up the timing of your entire project. In this video, I'll show you how to get to grips with quantizing in GarageBand for iOS. Here's a project I've just thrown together using a couple of GarageBand's touch instruments. Take a listen. Hmm, you get the basic idea, but there are definitely a lot of timing issues here. I'll try to tighten up the rhythm section first. If I solo this drum track, and then open the track controls, tap on track settings, and then on the quantization menu, I can choose from the following options. It is a fairly straightforward drum beat, so I'll select straight here. I find that depending on the instrument and recording you're working with, 1 over 16 notes is a good place to start when selecting your quantization value. Let's see how it works here. It's definitely better, but I'll try the 1 over 8 note option too. OK, that sounds pretty good. Here's the project all together. So still, this synth track is out of time. I'll solo the anthemic lead and head back into the controls for this track. Opening the quantization menu, I'll again select straight and choose the 1 over 16 note option and see how that sounds. That's definitely much better. Let's see how that sounds with the whole project. Much, much better. So there you have it, that's how to get to grips with GarageBand for iOS's quantization feature. If you're just getting started with GarageBand on iPad or iPhone, or if you just want a refresh on the basics, you can grab my free guide, Getting Started with GarageBand. I'll put a link to that down below. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.